we just want justice for what's happened to her, you know. I wasn't there to protect my baby. A mother's heartbreak and a desperate plea for answers after the sudden death of her daughter, who was in the custody of the Graham County Sheriff's Office. Officials say Jordan Marie Sims, who had just accused two officers of sexually assaulting her, died while they were transporting her to the hospital for an exam by jumping out of a moving patrol car. Only on ABC 15, investigator Sunu Wasu sits down with Jordan's family, who's questioning the sheriff's explanation of their daughter's death. This is mother's worst nightmare. <laughs> My daughter looked mutilated. She was undescribable, un, un, almost recognizable. I just kept yelling at her, begging her to wake up, just wake up. Jordan Marie Sims never woke up. Instead of seeing her walk down the aisle, a grieving family now forced to walk their daughter down to an operating room to donate her organs. This is video of the honor walk inside Banner University Medical Center in Tucson. My daughter is dead and there is no reason for her to be dead. Her Christmas gift still wrapped up under the tree. The only gift this family has now is support from each other. The nightmare for Deborah Sanchez started when she got a collect phone call from the Graham County Jail after Sims was arrested for alleged shoplifting. She says, Mommy, I need you to listen. Of course, as a mom, I'm starting to get up. She says, Mommy, I need you to please listen. I was raped. Raped, allegedly by a Safford police officer who is now on paid administrative leave. The results of a rape kit are pending, but right after the first hospital exam, Sanchez says she got another troubling phone call from her daughter in jail. She just told me that um, she was told to cough twice, and the second time is when the female guard shoved something in my daughter's butt. Reports of a second sexual assault by a detention officer. The family questions why it took Graham County more than 24 hours to take Sims in for a medical exam. When they finally did, a medical professional instructed deputies to take Sims to the local hospital for more exams with specialized equipment. But Sims never made it to the hospital. During the transport, sheriff's officials say she managed to get out of her handcuffs, leg cuffs, and waist chain using shower gel as a lubricant. And she jumped out of a moving patrol car through a door that you should not be able to open from the inside. But do you think she got out of all those chains? No, she no, did not. No. She didn't even have bruising around her wrist. The speed limit in this area? 35. Sheriff's officials say they found a child lock on Sims' side of the patrol car in the off position. I felt another kick in the gut because it's like, mm -hmm. really, do they think that I'm that dumb and naive? The family is not buying the sheriff's explanation. They say it raises more questions than answers. I'm with ABC 15. I'd like to see if the police chief or assistant chief are here. We stopped by the Safford Police Department to try to get some of those answers. We were told the chief is out of town. Here at the Graham County Sheriff's Office, we were told the sheriff is gone for the day, but he did leave ABC 15 this short note saying they take allegations against all staff members seriously. And that DPS is now investigating the allegations. But what about this inmate transfer gone horribly wrong? Well, we just wanted to find out if your office is changing policies and how inmate transports are done. No response yet from Graham County on any of their policies or if they plan to make any changes in light of this bizarre tragedy. Sims family calls it negligence. Why did you let it happen? Yeah. They weren't doing their jobs. They weren't doing their jobs. They were negligent you know, on that. Irresponsible. You know. Did they have training? The family has now hired Phoenix-based attorneys and requested a full autopsy. They're also pleading with anyone with information to speak up as they fight to get some answers. What happened to Jordan Marie in the last few days of her life inside the Graham County Jail? 45 minutes my daughter laid in the road with blood coming from her head. Why? Why? Okay, so Why didn't somebody pick her up and carry her to that hospital that was just two blocks away? It's a little county, come on. They're gonna have to do better, a lot better. I'm not gonna quit fighting for my daughter. In Safford, Sonuwasu, ABC 15, Arizona.